all right y'all so this right here is gonna be a mid fade tutorial he's gonna leave the top how it is and I'm gonna twist it up at the end with the twist buns all right so let's jump right into it so right here I'm gonna use my zero I'm using my um, wall reflections and I'm just gonna make my first initial guideline all the way around the head and I'm keeping the edge dark right here and I open it to a half and I put right in that area so to me a half is gonna be just just dark enough so you can see the edge pop with the razor and then I'm gonna fade that line out go all the way around the head right here is my one guard bring it up about an inch just give yourself room to blend just because you gave yourself an inch with the one guard doesn't mean that the blend is gonna go higher it just means that you're you gotta basically give yourself room to fade and that way it doesn't look that like the blend is in one small area. Don't be scared to take that, that one guard or whatever guard you're gonna use for your initial second guideline. I inch, I inch up. Right here I'm gonna go into my half guard. And like I said on my other video, I always do open, middle, close. That's just a technique that I use and it works for me so you'll pick up tips and tricks from other barbers and other videos but at the end of the day you're gonna find your own technique that works for you so I'm just opening and closing my half guard taking not necessarily taking that line out because right here I'm gonna open it up with no guard and that's my half and I'm gonna mess with the lever I'm gonna go from open to middle to close and in between basically try on error so if you, if you don't feel like the, the hair is cutting or the hair is catching on into the blades or you don't hear it then move the lever up and down play with it a little bit Spend time getting that line out, making that blend flawless. Try not to spend too much time, but enough time to where that line disappears. And as you can see, I have the cord detanglers on my clippers. It adds a little bit of weight to it, but it also, the, the thing that it does is it doesn't tangle your, your, your clipper wires. And this right here is my white one and a half guard. I love this thing man this this right here is a lifesaver takes off a lot of bolt and it blends right into uh, the one guard I may go back to my my one guard just to just to make that blend pop which I do in this video you'll see on my next step and see y'all I'm giving myself room to blend I'm not taking a blend higher than what it is I'm just going with my guidelines and going with the numbers up and this right here is my two guard see how I open that up and this right here I'm using that C cup motion I'm not really digging into the top of his head kind of scooping towards me to where I'm not gonna create another line because that two and a half is gonna blend right into the top right here I closed it and then from there you could do freehand or clipper over comb whatever's gonna get that blend to pop there's different techniques than using a higher guard so see I went back to my one guard and I'm just gonna clean that up so using walls may give you another step um, other than using your masters but I just I feel comfortable using these clippers and like I said whatever works for y'all 
you want to get the job done. Basically, what I'm trying to say. And I'm just playing with the lever, opening and closing it to get that line out. This haircut right here is in pretty high demand. It's uh, it's trendy now, so I do a lot of these haircuts. And this particular client, I've been cutting his hair now for three years. So I've learned the texture and the texture of his hair and how to how to blend it. I'm not gonna use a shaver on the bottom. It's gonna be just a real, real tight, close fade. I'm gonna use later on in the video, you'll see me use my five aught blade. When I say five aught blade, I mean my five zero blade on the MVPs. It's a rotary motor clipper, so it's a little more powerful. Notice how I always have a brush in my hand. That's that is, I can be, I cannot be more strict with that. A comb or a brush. See right here, I'm freehanding it a little bit. And you're just, you're not digging in, you're kinda, you wanted it kinda like round, so. Just spending a little more time to bring that blend together. One guard here. Going back to my half guard because I saw a little bit of bulk, so blend that out. Detail your work. Pay attention to detail. That's the that's that's a, a great key of being a barber. An eye of detail. All right. So as I'm doing this side, I'm gonna talk to y'all a little more about myself and my background. I've been cutting hair for three years now. Um, I moved from San Antonio, Texas, to Tampa, Florida, and I've been nothing but excelling and and proving in my barber skills here in Florida. I work for Headlines Barbershop here in Tampa, Florida. And we're growing. We got new locations coming up and that's all that's all cuz all cuz of Headlines that I started making YouTube videos. I got a 1-year-old daughter and so this right here is kind of a motivation for her as well to do better for myself and to better do better for my family and the reason why I go by Matt Gifted Hands is I really do think that God has something planned for me on this earth for for cutting hair like I a lot of barbers have opportunities and they seize those opportunities to to make it big you know to be a great barber and when I was when I was in barber school I would always look at tutorial videos so why not give back why not why not help other aspiring barbers and stylists that's my vision So I'm doing the same thing as I did on the other side. C cut motion. And like I said, y'all, with the wall reflections, you may find yourself doing an extra step other than using another clipper. But to me, I just feel like I feel more comfortable using the the walls I use masters as well and I'll be making videos with using my masters so right here I'm freehanding and I'm not digging in like I said he wanted it kind of rounded not straight up so I'm doing that
basically getting all the hairs that are sticking out and just shaping it. And there's different techniques to do this. See right here I got my uh, and this MVPs and it's a rotary motor clipper so it's pretty fast and it knocks down the hair a lot quicker than any other regular clipper. And this is my 5-0 blade. It's a pretty close blade. And this is the the blade that you'll use for your next step to use a shaver. I just know his hair texture. I, I don't want to use a shaver on it, so he may bump up. And right here I'm using my Slimline Pro LIs. They're cordless. And man, these right here, these right here, if you have them set right to where you could cut with kids and adults they're a really good trimmer they're super light doing the same thing to the other side Yeah, I just had like freehanded. There's like hair sticking out, so I just freehanded that a little bit. And remember, always keep that edge natural as possible. Now there may be some clients that you have to create a cosmetic lineup, meaning you may need to push back a little bit of hair, or they may want you to to do that. Just kind of do a little bit of both. Keep it natural and do as as they want. Because at the end of the day. Customer is always right. And this is going to be uh, the lineup on his goatee. Taking all the facial hairs off on the side and lining it up. Anyone that wants to know where I got the beat from the link is in the description and also the tools that I use are in the description right here I'm using my shears to kind of get the, the hairs that are sticking up now I apply my shave gel and this is just a regular blade holder you could get these anywhere man nothing too fancy it gets the job done and the blades and everything that I use will be in the description. Always have your client um, give that stretch down so you can get a good, a good, uh, a good clean line with the blade and also create comfort for that client as well so no hair pulls and right there I just told him to kind of poke his tongue to the corner of his cheek to get that corner right here I'm using a shaver on his face he, he won't bump out on the face, but I the hair on the side is more coarse. So, and right here I'm using my shears to get all the all the hair sticking up and clean it up. Just some sheer work. And again, these shears will be in the description below. Right here I'm spraying a little bit of water and I'm gonna do the twist sponge right now. And you don't have to apply too much pressure, just do it enough to where you start seeing all the curls. So this is the finished product. I hope y'all enjoyed it. Subscribe, share, comment. Y'all have a good one. Thanks for viewing, y'all be blessed, stay fresh.